This video covers the initial setup to ensure that mods function correctly in our game pack for the Cronus N device. This game pack has been tested with modern PlayStation and Xbox controllers on the gaming platforms listed in front of you. Any use with other controllers and platforms is at your own discretion. The Zen Gamepack Config can be navigated on the Chronos N display, allowing you to configure the gamepack in its entirety with your controller. Your Chronos Zen is probably displaying a screensaver from idling. Tap the memory slot button to cycle through and ensure that the intended gamepack is selected, as indicated by its idle screen. To enter the Zen Gamepack Config, hold touchpad and options together, view and menu together are the closest equivalent on your controller, until you feel a rumble and the config menu appears. You can navigate between sections with the right or left bumper and adjust settings with the D-pad. For listed options, use down or up, and for numeric values, use right or left. A section may contain an adjustment submenu with related settings. To enter, tap cross, A, or the equivalent button. To exit, tap circle, B, or the equivalent button. To use the game pack as intended, it is absolutely required that you match the game pack settings to your in-game settings. In the Zen game pack config, this concerns the first few sections of the game pack. This typically involves matching your in-game button layout, etc. To avoid issues, please do not miss anything. Each section may contain an adjustment submenu with multiple settings that need to be matched, such as your in-game sensitivity. Keep an eye on the game pack between updates for any additional settings. There is an optional block rumble setting. This will block the feeling of in-game controller vibration while leaving game pack indicator rumbles alone. This is available because it is a game pack requirement for controller vibration to be on, both in-game and in any console menu settings. You can apply optional hair triggers to the left trigger, right trigger, or both triggers. This improves reaction time by removing the analog sensitivity of the triggers, causing them to respond 100% pressed as soon as the game can register a press. This only affects gameplay, and any mods that are using analog sensitivity will continue to function as expected. Once you have completed the initial setup, tap Circle, B, or the equivalent button until you are presented with the option to save changes. Select Save, and then tap Cross, A, or the equivalent button to save and exit the config. Pay attention to the Gamepack Setup section of the Gamepacks Manual, as it lists any known in-game setting requirements. We will show the current list on screen, but due to how rapidly online games evolve, this list is subject to change. We are sorry if your favorite in-game setting is unsupported. We have to carefully weigh up what is feasible to support on a per game pack basis. Additional support may be added at a later date, but it is not guaranteed. And that covers the initial setup. Stay tuned to our video playlist order for further tutorials. If you enjoyed this video or found it to be helpful, drop us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay tuned to Cronus End.